how's it going today? My name is Jack or IG Cap. You've probably been wondering like where the hell have you been Jack? You've been gone for like three and a half four weeks now and I know I'm sorry it's been absolutely crazy in my last video I am just shocked at the amount of support that you guys have thrown at me. I've gotten so many messages on Instagram, so many messages and comments on YouTube and like some of them have just been flagged as spam just because it's just like they're, they're the same they just repeat themselves and it's like amount of support that you guys have given me for releasing that video has just been incredible and you know what I'm I'm so thankful to have such a such a loving audience that supports me for who I am and cares for me in such a such a huge way so if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like travel vlogs tech and fun because that's what I do here on this channel I'm continuing the trend with travel obviously because I am obsessed with it so as you probably know it was my birthday a couple couple days ago on March 5th I just I love travel so so much and I've been asking for this for such a long time is a traveler's journal So I'm gonna provide you with five tips that I personally have used for solo travel because I went to the UK I wasn't by myself, but you know I flew there by myself and I was like on my own for some of the travel So it's just I I'm providing some some tips on being by yourself and traveling by yourself and coping with it And kind of getting rid of that anxiety that you might have I'm um, going to Los Angeles as well like flying there by myself and doing all of that like it was it was kind of nerve-wracking and scary because you know like you're going to a different place you're going to a different country and you're not completely aware of your surroundings you're not completely aware of what's going on so it can be kind of nerve-wracking you know you can get digital versions of this and you know you can post pictures on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that but I think actually having a physical travel journal that you can actually write stuff down in like your checklists and stuff like that and you can put in your short trips your long trips like destinations how you're gonna get there um, the checklist for stuff that you need before you go and you can even post like like old-fashioned like Almost like Polaroid photos in here and you can make it look so cool and like here's what you would put your photos in obviously as you can see So I think it's so 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 cool. Um, you can get these off Amazon I think they're like 40 or 50 bucks. They're a little bit pricey But like considering the quality of stuff they're made out of they're designed to last for years and years So in today's video I'm gonna provide you with five tips that I personally use for solo travel as I have traveled by myself quite a bit and the reason because I travel by myself for some of the reason is because I like to be alone for sometimes because the reason is, is I've gone on trips with groups of people before. I've gone on trips with friends and it's been frustrating and it has been annoying and I've gone on trips with family too, before as well and personally I found it to be a shitty experience because I don't get to do what I want. I don't get to go where I want to go. When we went to California as a family, I really wanted to go to Los Angeles and I really wanted to do all this and that and the other. And we never went because my 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 goals and my my intentions of doing things were not were not a priority. And I don't blame them for that because I didn't pay for the trip. But then again, you know, why do you want to be invited on a trip if you don't get to go and do something that you want to go do? So I can kind of see the aspect of that, and it, that can also kind of be perceived as being selfish as well. And I don't want that to be perceived as being selfish or ungrateful. You know, the whole point of going on a trip is to do what you want to do or or get a chance to do what you want to do. Tip number one is make sure you pack light. If you're gonna be going by yourself, you don't wanna be bringing lots and lots of stuff. You wanna be smart about it. If you are gonna be touring places by yourself, then just make sure that you don't take a lot of stuff with you because again it's gonna be a lot for you to lug around by yourself and it's gonna be a lot of work and it's gonna be difficult getting from place to place make it efficient make it easy try and pack everything into one bag you can throw over your shoulder and one bag you can lug around with your hand so that you can make things a lot easier for yourself number two give it an opportunity to meet new people just because you're traveling by yourself doesn't mean you have to be by yourself all the time Airbnb experiences is a fantastic fantastic way to meet new people. It's a fantastic way to explore a local destination and go on tours, go on hikes, go on excursions, do safari tours in my case. Um, if I didn't tell you guys I'm going to South Africa for two and a half weeks, have an opportunity to meet some new people and you can make some great friends. So just because you are traveling alone doesn't mean you have to be alone all the time. Number three, try and stay sober unless you know that you're safe. You know, when you're going to a new destination and 
and you don't know anywhere about and you're unfamiliar with the community and the areas and the neighborhoods, you want to make sure that you stay safe. You need to be aware of your surroundings at all times. You have to remember that you're vulnerable and that you can be perceived as a target, especially if you're in a dangerous area or has an area with a lot of crime. I know Johannesburg in South Africa suffers with a lot of crime, especially violent crime such as rape and murder. Really important, in my opinion, to stay sober, especially if you're by yourself. If you're in a group of people, it's less of a concern, but when you're by yourself, you have to be aware of your surroundings. Tip number four, try and not go out at night because, again, it depends on where you are. You have to get a feel of the vibe for the destination, obviously. Like, if you're in South Africa, they say don't go out at night because the crime significantly increases at night. So it depends on where you're going, so try and avoid going out at night. In my case, I'm going to be doing so much in the day, by the time I get back to my Airbnb at 6.30, 7 o'clock at night, I'm going to be exhausted and I'm going to pass out and wake up at 7 o'clock in the morning uh, the next day because I have so, so much planned and it's going to be so physically demanding that by the time 7 o'clock hits in the evening that I'm just going to be completely, completely exhausted. And leading into the final tip that I can provide for you guys, it's kind of bulked in with a, um, it's kind of bulked in with kind of two, kind of two little tips bulked together in one. Um, tip number five, give a copy of your itinerary to your best friend or your family or whoever so they know exactly what you're doing on certain days and stay in contact with them be messaging them every day just to tell them hey i'm all right you know i'm doing this i'm doing that or just just keep in touch don't even have to say hey i'm all right just say just stay stay in touch just so that they know that you're not missing or like something bad has gone wrong or anything like that so just stay in touch um every once in a while just so that they know that you're fine and um trust your gut I'm serious when I say that, like trust your gut with 100% accuracy because you never know. And your gut is nine times out of 10 right on a situation. So if you at any point at all have second thoughts or you feel unsafe or you feel just, you don't feel like something is going to go right or something is going to go terribly wrong and you feel like you're going to be in danger, leave. Get out of that situation as quickly as you can. Try not to be too obvious about leaving. Like, don't run. Like, just try and just say, okay, I'm, I'm going. So yeah, I really hope that you guys did enjoy this video today and pick yourself up one of these travel journals here. They are super, super nice. They're super, super cool and super neat and I think it's a really great way to put memories in there and make and make some memories and look back at it and you know be like proud of where you've been and it's always been a life goal of mine to fill up my passport with stamps of just everywhere around the world you know I've got 10 years to fill this passport up with as many stamps as I can so it's a life goal of mine to do that so hopefully we can make that happen I'm going to South Africa in November I leave on the 13th of November and I'm gone for two and a half weeks and I cannot freaking wait I'm so glad to be done school in the coming five weeks like it's insane like the ending is here and I can taste it I'm so excited for this year and I'm so excited for the progress that I can make and I'm so excited to be on the beach in November in South Africa with the penguins like it's gonna be incredible like the content I'm gonna be able to film out there is just gonna be amazing travel um, travel often you know you only live once so get out there travel see the world and do things in your life even if you have to do them by yourself like don't weight on other people that's always been my my thought on on traveling is people are like oh well i have no one to go with then go by yourself don't hold back on your own goals and dreams of wanting to go somewhere just because somebody doesn't want to go with you you don't have to be alone the entire time you can book experiences you can meet new people even staying in an airbnb in general is a fantastic way to meet new people you can meet the host they can give you recommendations to go to local art classes you can go to yoga classes you can do hikes with locals like there's so many things that you can do i'm gonna let you guys go i really hope that you guys enjoyed this I want to start filming more content because I've been gone for so 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 long it's because of school school's been stressful a lot has been due all at once and I've just been able to you know I've just had to focus on that and that's just really sucks because I've been just thinking like oh crap like I really just want to film and I got all this crap to do that I don't want to do. I just want to film and make videos and I can't do that because I'm like, oh, I got these assignments that are due and I have to do them. So yeah, hopefully I can film in the near future. I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.